This FHP video shows a van refusing to stop for cops on Florida's west coast. Star Chase has been deployed. I'm on the vehicle. I got the vehicle at Star Chase. Star Chase is the little dart looking thing you see flying from the front of the FHP patrol car sticking to the fleeing van. Troopers hit a button inside the cruiser and off it goes. These photos show the launcher attached to one of the 75 FHP cars presently using the gadget on a test basis. It's given us the GPS technology where we're able to track those vehicles. Of course, most of us are familiar with GPS. We use it several times each and every day, whether it's to find the nearby office complex, a restaurant, getting around town. That same GPS is helping law enforcement track down suspects. Hey, I got the mapping program up on my end now so I can see real time where he's going. The mapping is very similar to what you use to make sure you're going the right way. Think of the moving blue dot as a suspect in this case. And once mapping started, the police going after the van turned around instead, leaving FHP to follow well behind the fleeing driver. We're tracking him with GPS right now. Decrease the number of active pursuits where troopers are physically behind a car at a high speed, um, hoping that we can decrease some of the incidents of involving other vehicles. Oh, no! We have certainly witnessed fleeing suspects driving recklessly. An auto theft suspect on I-4. Yeah, this, he's probably over 100, 110 miles per hour now in the outside lane, and he's in and out of every lane of traffic there could be here. And a fleeing murder suspect in Ormond Beach who knocked down a utility pole. Pursuits are probably one of the most dangerous uh, circumstances a, a police officer can get involved in. We constantly have to weigh the risk versus reward, if you will, the risk to the general public at that time um, when we're pursuing them. Orlando police officers are also using the Star Chase technology, trying to do less pursuing and more tracking. We found that they stopped driving rec uh, recklessly uh, shortly, very shortly after, and they start to blend into the normal general public after fleeing from us. And when they've created enough distance to believe the cops are no longer following me. Pull up on our mapping system. The tagged uh, car shows up on the officer's laptop. We see him turn by turn. Like in the FHP case, where once the van ran over the stop sticks, safely placed in front of it because troopers knew where the driver was heading, it was a simple search and arrest. It lends to a lot safer police work. And safer roads for all of us. Dave McDaniel, West